Hello and welcome to Lutherans Alive. My name is Gregory Held and this is the program that brings you the story of Lutheran Christians and their ministries in southwestern Pennsylvania. With us today is Pastor Tony Schneck, Associate Pastor at Bethlehem Lutheran Church in Glenshaw. Tony, welcome. Thanks. Good it's to good, be here. Good to have you with us today. Nice to be here. And uh, to have a chance to talk a little bit about faith in the home. Mm -hmm. Um, you have a unique perspective, or I don't know, maybe a common perspective, mm -hmm. being a young father um, with two young children at home, and uh, that uh, will, I guess, to a certain extent, make you an expert on the subject. I don't know if I would claim to be an expert, uh, but I, I don't know if I uh, uh, would sit here today uh, and call myself that, but um, certainly I, I do uh, have a passion for sharing uh, faith with young children, and uh, and, and yes, uh, certainly being the father of, of two young children sort of uh, colors my perspective on that. And Just to give our viewers a little mm -hmm. bit of, of background, um, why don't you share with us um, how your family has grown over the mm -hmm. last several years. Uh, uh -huh. First child to, to be introduced into the family was, of course, your firstborn, Connor. Certainly, yes. My, my wife, uh, Trisha, and I, and Trisha is also a Lutheran pastor uh, here in our synod. And I interrupt you just long enough mm -hmm. to say she would be with us today, except she's a little bit under the weather. So yeah. mm -hmm. we'll, we'll beg her forgiveness for right. uh, things that we might not say that she would think are important. Right. I'll, I'll try to cover some of those things, too, <laughs> as, as I can. But, uh, but yes, we, we were blessed with the, the birth of our son, uh, Connor, who is uh, uh, now five years old. And um, just this year, we were blessed with a daughter who came to us through uh, international adoption. Her mm -hmm. name is Cassandra, and she's a year and a half old now. Uh, so, um, but no matter how children come to us, they are a gift from God. And, uh, and, and, and again, I sit here today uh, not, not only as a Lutheran pastor, but as a father, as a, as a Christian parent uh, who um, wishes to pass on the faith. And um, Trish and I uh, take that pretty seriously, and uh, faith in the home is an important thing, that the children, being a gift from God, have been entrusted to us. That's a sacred trust. And uh, being a parent is a calling from God. There, there are people who l look at uh, Lutheran pastors or, or um, uh, clergy or priests as sometimes having some sort of special calling from God, but, but really everyone has a calling from God, no matter what that might be. And for many, uh, one of those callings is to be a parent, uh, to be a, a, a father or a mother to a, to a child. And um, that is a calling from God to which we are asked to be faithful. And um, when we bring our children to the baptismal font, uh, baptism is a, is a wonderful focus. When we bring our children to that baptismal font, we make promises to share the faith with our children, to raise them in the Christian faith. And many people have a common misconception that church is the place where we talk about God, that we sort of uh, compartmentalize mm -hmm. our faith, so to speak, to that time that we spend within the walls of that, that church building, that that's where we talk about God, that's where we learn about God. But in the family, in the, in the home, is the, the place where faith can really grow. Really, faith begins in the home um, with Christian parents uh, sort of called to be bishops and pastors of their own home mm. and to pass along the Christian faith to their, to their children. Over the, the course of the life of the church, at least in recent generations, the church has um, had some ways to encourage that in families. Mm -hmm. um, most of us uh, who are pastors are familiar with the, uh, the uh, publications that uh, the church publishing house makes available that can be sent to a parent, a young parent with, of a newly arrived child um, basically every three months with reminders of the developmental stages of children and how we can begin to be an influence and interact with that uh, growing new life in ways that will promote a uh, spiritual understanding and focus, as well as the, the mental and the physical growth that is taking place at the same time. One of the things that I attempt to share with um, parents who come, come to me for a pre-baptismal appointment 
is that every Christian parent can teach and pass along the faith, um, the love of Jesus, can pass along the love of Jesus to their children. You don't need a theological degree. You don't have to have mm. gone to seminary uh, to be able to teach. Every parent can do this, and I, and I offer words of encouragement to any, any parents who may be watching and listening today and that, um, uh, that it is possible to do this through a good Bible storybook, uh, maybe with pictures of the familiar Bible stories, mm -hmm. prayers before bedtime, prayers before meals, uh, and most of all, most of all, through our example, through our role modeling of the faith to our children that they can most of all see it in us and witness it because we all, we all know that children learn more by what they see us adults do than uh, by what we say to them, what we, what we tell them. They, they will learn by example. Um, one of the things that we can do to, to share the love of Jesus or to sh with, or with our children is to take them to worship. And there may be many parents wondering about when that might be appropriate to do. To that, I would say, you begin taking your children to worship as soon as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Even infants, um, it's never too early to start sharing the faith with our children. Even in the home, songs. Um, I was singing Jesus Loves Me to our son even when he was still in the womb. I was, <laughs> I was uh, singing to him and uh, likewise, you know, as he's grown, he's learned the songs and now even uh, our daughter, I'm singing it to her, mm -hmm. uh, singing her songs whenever it's time for, for bed. So they become familiar. Um, and again, with worship in our churches, we need to be welcoming to children. And parents need to be bold enough to bring even their infants to worship so that they become accustomed to the worship space, to the, the people, to the music. The, there are some who say, well, I'll bring my children when they're older. Well, by that time, we're, we're missing an opportunity for our children to become accustomed to being there. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, for children to be in worship is a wonderful thing. And if they get a little fussy, then many churches have a, a space where you could maybe take the children out. If they get a little too fussy, um, even, even infants or small children, toddlers, maybe take them out for a little while and then bring them back. Um, one of the things that I think it's wonderful that we, that we do at, at Bethlehem, uh, the church where I serve, is uh, and a number of churches do this, we have children's worship in that when it comes time for the sermon, uh, not the children's sermon, we, we do have a children's sermon, but then when it comes time for the adult sermon, so to speak, the children are invited to uh, go with an adult or maybe a couple of teenagers for a time of children's worship. They might hear a story, they might do a craft, and then a little bit later, they return to the worship service in time to come forward with their families for communion mm. so that they're there for most of the service but they um, are out of the service for that time when admittedly it's hard for little ones to sit through a um, to sit through a sermon that's mainly directed at uh, adults and maybe teens uh, so it's kind of the best of both worlds I think mm -hmm. to have the children out for a while and then bring them back so that they can still be a part of most of the service. I guess one of the one of the biggest problems is um, it's more about how the parents feel about how their children are behaving mm -hmm. in church right. and I'd like to talk about that a little bit when we come back after our first break. Okay. Great.